time, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Russell Westbrook is reported to be open to getting traded to the Heat. Now, on the other day, like we said, when Paul George left, they got rid of Jeremy Grant. We know they're dumping salary. They were $71 million into the luxury tax, and you just don't want to be there if you're not winning. A lot of people will probably take something like that. The Warriors will probably take something like that if they're winning games. But when you're not winning games, you're getting consistent exits before you get into the conference finals. You just can't justify spending that much money. So in the aftermath of co-star Paul George's departure, Russell Westbrook becomes open to the idea of being traded. Now they're talking about his illustrious 11-year career going 1,000 miles an hour and just getting buckets. Obviously, we know that Russell Westbrook is a walking bucket. Obviously, we know that he's averaged a triple-double over the last three seasons. But the thing is, they're just not, they've just not been winning with that. They tried to say that there were some grumblings with he and Paul George, and Paul George came out and squashed that immediately, said, yo, leave Russell alone. I love the guy. I just wanted to go home and play in LA. And I can understand that. But the, the, the biggest issue with all of this is Russell Westbrook is going to be making a stupid amount of money when he's 34. Well, it's 38 million this year, 41 next year, 44, and then 47. That's going to be a lot for a 34 year old player. And so any franchise that's going to take that on, they are going to have to take that on hoping that they're going to win a championship. Now, if he goes to the Heat, you're playing with Jimmy Butler, you got another dog beside you, and we don't know, I don't want to say anything about the rest of the roster because they're going to have to give up some pieces on Miami in order to make the money match up because Russell Westbrook, like you said, he's making $38 million this year. The Heat is up against the cap, so they're going to have to make the money match up almost exactly. So we don't know who they're going to get rid of. I don't have all that information in front of me, but that Heat team is not going to be looking like it is right now. Maybe they'll be able to keep somebody like Justice Winslow. They already got rid of Whiteside, and so they have a little room, but still they're going to have to make the money match up almost exactly. Anyway, I don't know if Russell Westbrook is enough to get you out of the first round. Um, if he calms it down, scales it back, it's, it's something I've always said, if he can calm it down, scale it back, and, and play under control with the explosions here and there, then I think he's, he could be one of the best players in the league, what, like he already is, but he could be even better than what he is. But what makes him so great is the same thing that makes you apprehensive about him, is that he goes 100 miles an hour 100% of the time and uh, he doesn't know how to slow down and that's not a bad thing But at the same time some people might look at that and say he's reckless But when you have people with the desire like he and Jimmy Butler at the same time They can definitely make some noise in the East. I don't think it gets them past Milwaukee But with Kevin Durant not really playing this year I could definitely see them making it to the Eastern Conference Finals just depending on what Boston does and and uh, we already know Toronto's pretty much out of it right now it's just going to be tough. I can see them playing in the, in the Eastern Conference Finals. I just don't see them getting out of the East. But what do you guys think? Do you think Russell Westbrook is going to the Heat? Or do you think he's going to go somewhere else? Uh, who else do you think can make the money match up? Maybe the Knicks can make the money match up. Uh, but at the same time, I, I think you can't just... Because I know the Knicks have the money, but you have to make it match up. So you have to have the assets to trade so that so that the money matches up with uh, Oklahoma City. But anyway, you guys let me know where you guys think he's going to go. Do you think he's going to go to the Knicks? Do you think he's going to go to the Heat? Um, and is he going to be enough? If he goes to the Heat, even though he got a dog and Jimmy Butler beside him, is that enough to, to get them out of the East? I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel. Hello!